Hey guys, in this video we're going to be showing you how to downgrade from 4.2.1 to any earlier version that you have your SHSH blobs saved for. So if you don't know, SHSH blobs are just this information that are, is specific to your device and firmware version that is saved on uh, usually Cydia's server if you've used Cydia with a jailbreak for that. Or you can save it manually through Tiny Umbrella if you don't have it jailbroken. So what you want to do is download Tiny Umbrella from the link in the description because it'll be important to, to uh, using this whole service and fixing everything. And then you, you can also do this through iTunes or I believe there's a way to do it through Tiny Umbrella, but, that's Tiny more Umbrella, but it's, yeah, it's more complicated so you might not want to do that. So what you're going to do first is click on your device and see the saved SHSH blobs. And Sometimes you won't see them here and you'll just have to... and you'll you have to check if they're there through Cydia, like you'll see in this picture. And it indicates with the little green letters on the top. And so that's you can a, see. Yeah, so that's at the top of the Cydia homepage. And, but then also, you, they'll sometimes be visible here. So to restore, you need to make sure you have the SHSH blobs saved for the version that you want to restore to. And if you're jailbroken on that version, most likely you, you have those blobs, which is a good thing. All right. So the next thing you want to do is edit the hosts file. Alright, so to edit the host file you're going to have to do some stuff in terminal. You can, We'll put all the stuff that you need to do either in a text file in the description or just in the description because some characters YouTube won't allow. But basically what you're going to want to do is and, edit, it's going to be editing the host, host file which sets connections for certain uh, domain names instead of using the DNS servers. And this is really simple, don't get intimidated by terminal, you just have to follow the instructions, change the thing, and you'll be all good. Yeah, all the commands are pretty intuitive. So, first you want to get to your root directory, usually terminal starts out in your home directory, but to get to your root directory, you just go cd dot dot, cd dot dot, cd stands for change directory, dot dot means parent directory, and you'll know you're in the right uh, directory if, it, if there's a slash there that's the root directory and from there type sudo nano slash etc slash hosts and basically what you're doing now is editing a text file and when you type sudo that usually means that you're gonna have to enter a password since I recently entered mine I don't have to but just make sure you enter an admin password if you're going to do that. And that's for the admin of your computer, nothing online. So, what you're going to want to do now is uh, uncomment this line. This line won't be in here. Uh, we'll put it down in the description. But basically what you want to do is copy and paste this line into here. At least I think you'll be able to copy and paste. You might just have to type it in. I already have it here and we're just going to uncomment it. And this will be in the description, just this line. This line uh, is meaningless, what you really need right here. And basically what you're doing right now is changing the server that uh, you connect to when iTunes tries to connect to gs.apple.com, which is the server that checks your firmware and if it's the right version. And this is bypassing it, so when you're in iTunes, you can change it. So yeah, this is Sarix, the person who makes Cydia. That's, this is his server that automatically approves the stuff that gets sent to it. So anyway, then just hit Control X once it's commented. Uh, once it's there, hit Y and then hit Enter, and it'll save it. All right. So then you're all set up to restore it either in iTunes or through Tiny Umbrella. And we're gonna be doing that in iTunes. So go to your device's uh, page. So you can see right now we're on 4.2.1, and we're going to be downgrading to 4.1. So uh, you're, since you're going to be choosing an older version, you're going to want to alt, hold down Alt or Option, uh, okay. Shift if you're on a PC, and then click Restore. And that'll lead you to a picker. And it'll take a couple seconds, and then you'll have a, a file picker. And so you can see here we have iPhone 3.1 4.1. Just basically download, we'll have a link in the description for all the firmwares, download the version you want. This is 4.1 and we're going to be using it. And we do have the SHSH blobs for this, like you saw on the screenshot. So just hit choose and it says this will erase and restore your iPhone to 4.1. Just hit restore and it'll say extracting software. We'll fast forward through all this 
and show you how to get rid of any error message that you, that you might get. So if you get this error, then what you're going to want to do is go to Tiny Umbrella. Your iPhone will now be in recovery mode with a picture that tells you to connect to iTunes. And then you're going to want to go into Tiny Umbrella, Click. select your device, and hit Exit Recovery. And, and it will cause your iPhone to reboot. So we'll just wait for that. And once your device reboots, it'll have a thing that says slide for emergency. So you can just wait for that. And it'll... And it'll go back to normal. It just takes a few seconds. I know it's sort of weird, but it's like what happens when you restart. If you slide it, um, uh, it'll just open up the iPhone in a few seconds. It'll say activating iPhone and everything should be normal. And you can see, or you can't see, but I'm running on 4.1 right now. You can and see it says it right there. Everything worked fine, yes. So yeah, that's how you fix the error you get. And you, so you just hit exit recovery, wait for your iPhone to reboot, and everything should work out. All right, so that's how you downgrade from 4.2.1. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.